It has been nearly five months since this deadly tornado hit Iowa, but even now some homeowners are still dealing with the damage and they're tired of it. Todd Mullenbeck investigates for us tonight in Polk County. A slate colored tarp still covers this home as work on it has yet to begin. The tornado March 5th twisted the house. Now it leans and has cracks throughout. Rachel Gunnerson says the family has been out ever since and doesn't seem to be getting anywhere with insurance. It's been, I think, about 20 weeks or so since the tornado, and we're still sitting here with a house that continues to break and essentially falling apart and getting even more infested. She shows us some of the damage inside, including this wall that she can push out with a knee. The house itself is physically standing, but it got um, twisted and you've got framing that you've got stress fractures on it. Um, the front of the house is leaning about four inches. The garage is leaving, leaning about seven inches. She believes the home is beyond saving. Though they're on their fourth claim specialist, she says the estimates are not even half of what contractors are quoting. Bill Friend says other homeowners in Runnels are having the same problem. Insurance companies are just battling, fighting them on little things uh, or, or everything all together and just not really doing much uh, to help them out. State Farm sent us a statement regarding this particular case, saying in part, we take pride in our customer service and are committed to paying what we owe promptly, courteously, and efficiently. Due to our company privacy policy, we can't speak to the specifics of any individual customer claim. While the damage is physical, there is also the emotional. It's just everything has been turned upside down. So emotionally, it's, it's taken its toll, um, been difficult to work, difficult to keep up with everything and, and baby, essentially babysit all the insurance stuff that, that is going on with it. That's Todd Mullenbeck reporting. Now let's take a closer look at the tornado's path. It was on the ground for 70 miles. The disaster started in Winterset where the storm claimed six lives. The tornado leveled dozens of homes, then continued on through Norwalk and Runnels. The tornado's last target was the town of Newton. Drive-in movie theater took a direct hit. It's been closed all summer, but the first showing is one week from today. That is exactly five months since the storm.